I have been struggling, admittedly, to find some water clear enough to film in. We got a bunch of different baits we're gonna put on this thing, hopefully see some catfish. Thank you guys so much for the support on the video that's like blowing up right now. It's got like over 200K views. Um, and we're still going so thank you guys so much for all the shares and everything on that I know a lot of people were asking me it is called the go fish cam big cat fever rod 30 pound braid and Then we have a little pool noodle taped on here just so this floats off the bottom and gives us the best view on here I really hope this uh, This goes well, and we're just going with a little piece of bait today. All right, guys, welcome. We're down here in the urban pond. We have a small piece of chicken liver on here. And this is a major issue with this pond. These bluegill just peck it right off. And I was hoping they wouldn't be so bad today, uh, but yeah, they turned out to be pretty bad. Um, so you'll see all of them swarming around down here. And actually, on top of the bank, we couldn't even see our rod moving because of all these fish. Usually you can see them pecking, but not this time. And as we go to reel up our bait here, we actually end up hooking one who becomes the unfortunate person to uh, become bait there. I guess that was the uh, unfortunate culprit. I'm sure it'll still get pecked at, but. All right, back down on the bottom. This is now a piece of cut bluegill. We did use them as bait. We'll see our first channel cat there. Just kind of cruising around. If you guys remember, I did film an underwater video here before, and this is what it used to look like last year. This year, this is what it's looking like, so definitely a lot different. And we'll get this channel cat to pick this bait up here for a second. Um, but yeah, we end up checking that bait, I think refreshing and getting it back out there. And here we'll get bit on the way down. Look at him. <laughs> Comes straight to the camera and this cast for some reason we just hit it right on the head Now these fish were actually stocked two days before I filmed this video So I kind of gave them a little bit of the time to uh, get acclimated and here my bait is just slightly to the left off camera And you can see how finicky they are down there, man Unbelievable Unbelievable. You can tell, look at all of them here. Nose down, nose down. Just not too into it. Totally different from a blue cat. If you guys remember my old blue cat footage from the East Coast, these guys just pick it up, suck it in, and start swimming away. Completely different. While all these fish are swimming around down here, of course we get bit on our non-camera rod. Finally, guys, finally, finally. Now it's not on the camera rod, but we got one. And he feels pretty nice, actually. This is on the bluegill head. We did switch bait for a little bit, just to kind of see what was gonna happen. And uh, good thing we did, because uh, we've been waiting a fair amount of time for this fish, and he feels okay. I have not seen this one yet. Kind of just digging straight down. Oh man, I've been waiting all the freaking morning for this fish. He ain't huge, but I mean, I'll take him. I'll take him. He freaking engulfed that whole head too. I'm not showing any. Oh, the head came off now. Head came off. First of the day, not too bad. Wish it was on the camera rod, but hey, I'll take it. All right, resuming down there. These catfish have still not left. This is probably a 30 minute drop right here. And these fish were just everywhere. They just would not leave, but they would not pick up the bait. Look at them. Hesitant. Very, very hesitant. There's some bluegill around there. Look at them all just kind of hovering right in that area, but just not sold on it. 
on one of our trips during trout season, and this was back in February. I'll show you guys real quick. You can see the mannerism difference here. You can see these catfish moving a lot slower. Still interested. You'll get one go down there for a second. Changes his mind. So the water is much colder here. And we'll have a small school of bluegill come up. Kind of all huddled. Kind of all huddled together. You see them very hesitant, but <laughs> trying to take bites out of my power bait there. Again, this was a trout trip here back in February. I just wanted to show you guys the difference in water clarity and the difference in mannerisms of these fish. Super weird. They eventually move on, of course. Here we'll have a really nice take on the power bait. Boom, slurps it up all the way in his mouth, turns to the side, and boom, bait is just completely on there, gone. <laughs> I just thought that was very interesting, the difference right there. So we're going to flash right back to our present day. Still loaded with channel cats down there. I'm going to flash back here. Unfortunately, this is much later in the season, so I do not believe there are any trout left. There was some trout left on an old video, if you guys remember, in one of the urban ponds. That was pretty cool to watch. Look at them. Just look like sharks. So many. Just could not get them to commit. I must admit, on the camera rod, it is a little tricky hooking fish. Nose down. Nose down right there. Just did not want to commit. Did not want to commit. Moving in, searching, but they're spooked. They're spooked. The, the only bad thing is here that the camera moves as soon as that fish grabs the bait, so... That fish could possibly think something is after them after that because i mean they'll pick up that bait and, and swim away right away so man they were curious look at all these things stocked arizona catfish stocked arizona catfish no shortage of fish that is for sure but man very very finicky on the camera rod here this cast we kind of messed things up <laughs> We actually cast on some artificial structure on the bottom. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't see any fish here. <laughs> but I'm going to time lapse it. We never moved. We never did anything. It kind of sucks. <laughs> here we start to see some carp on the bottom. Now, I had kind of chummed this up with some chum pods. And it was definitely starting to work here. Looks like a grass carp on the bottom. Just kind of cruising around. Not the target species, but I would have been happy with one. Here, this is another piece of fresh bluegill. This is kind of funny. All the bluegill just following it down, thinking it's something they want to eat. But uh, they are very hesitant. <laughs> kind of curious to know if that's one of them or not. I wonder if they know. This guy definitely knows something right here. Definitely knows something. <laughs> But it was kind of weird because bluegill were there maybe every other cast, uh, but not on every cast. Here it looks like he thinks about biting it, but he doesn't, unfortunately. And here we'll have some sketchy bites. Little baby channel cat. Just pecks on it. Not quite sold. Here we'll get another one. I think that's the same fish, actually. Comes back for it, pulls on it again. Just does not commit though. Here's another sketchy bite. Boom, nose down. And couldn't do it. And I did try using more liver and more striker, but the bluegill would just peck it off immediately. So I committed to the cut gill. Here's another one. No, just not sold on it. Fresh cut bluegill. This guy's gonna headbutt us, boom. <laughs> Now, granted, these were freshly stocked fish, so I'm sure they would go for something smelly if I could keep it on the hook. Uh, but after a while, I was like, man, I need to make a move. So I moved a little bit to the left, and we were able to connect with another fish. Well, good thing I just changed the battery in the freaking camera. It has been a fair amount of time since we got this bite. Probably around... 
hour and a half. Not much on the camera rod. Not much. I will say this, compared to the past fishing here, these fish are biting much harder, much less finicky than before. That is for sure. Not a bad one. Well, since the battery died, there he is. Probably a good, I don't know, 14, 13 and a half incher. <laughs> Clear water. Alrighty. No skunk, no skunk for us. We get this other sketchy fish here. Comes in and feels it, swims away. Comes right back. Thinks about it once more. And just can't commit to it, man. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We didn't get any other action on the camera. This was really tricky to make. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you in the next freaking video.